Welcome back to KION News at 11 o'clock. Time now for a full look at that weather authority forecast. We were talking about it earlier. Nice day out at Laguna Seca. Not too hot, which was nice for a change because it had been toasty out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it was pretty hot last week, certainly. Uh, maybe even last weekend. I think it was a lot warmer, but uh, this weekend was a little bit more tame as far as that he was concerned. All the advisories, the alerts are over. No more heat alerts. The light, dry lightning threat is over. Let's see what's going on out there. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf tonight. Pretty calm conditions. Uh, before the sun went down, you could see the water a little bit better. It was pretty glassy in Monterey this evening. We haven't had a lot of wind lately along the coast either. It's a little calmer this time of year, typically on the coast. Not inland. You know how it gets windy in the valleys inland. Uh, our storm tracker showing the big old nasty ridge of high pressure sitting over uh, New Mexico right now. That's the heat maker that brought us heat over the course of the last week or so, and it's now too far to the east. Did pump up quite a bit of moisture. We're kind of on the dry side of that now. We can see the moisture across the uh, Great Basin, some showers, thunderstorms still erupting over the deserts. and up into the Sierra Nevada, but this area of low pressure did pull in some drier air out of the southwest, and that is pushing all that mid-level cloud cover away from us. So we're pretty much done with that. No uh, lightning threat anymore. And I actually don't think we had any. Someone said on social media that they did hear thunder um, on Saturday morning, but I haven't, I didn't see any lightning data that suggested something happened. I don't think there were any cloud to ground strikes within our viewing area, but maybe there was an in, intra cloud flash that the detectors didn't pick up. It's possible. Sometimes we hear those and we'll have it corroborated by many people, or maybe it was a sonic boom. Who knows? But um, looks, luckily, I think the point is we didn't have any dry lightning uh, strike the ground this weekend, which would have been a bad situation considering how dry it's been. And it's over now, that threat is done. So that's some good news. High pressure still out over the Four Corners region for the next couple of days. We're watching this area of low pressure. We're gonna be in between these two features for the better part of the next several days. And typically when we have a trough on the coast or near the coast and the ridge to the east this time of year, uh, that means we have clouds on the coast. And well, we're going to have clouds on the coast for the next couple of days. It doesn't always work out like that, but generally speaking, this uh, pattern gives us more onshore flow. So we're not going to be seeing any major coastal heat here for the next couple of days and probably going to be hanging on a few of those low clouds at times. Now, later on in the week, the ridge strengthens and tries to push back to the, we the west, I should say, and we can see that uh, emphasis showing up here. Yeah, it's really giving it a shot. So I do expect some warming toward the end of the week. We'll notice it inland especially, but and even to the coast, I think we'll warm up maybe five, eight degrees. We'll see how lucky we get on the coast. We have some warmer weather in the store for us, I think. Uh, then into the weekend, things kind of level out a bit. But, you know, the next couple of days, still going to be kind of cloudy and uh, cool on the coast. Here's our future track showing the low clouds overnight, pushing into the valleys. Uh, with the deeper marine layer, you're more likely to see fog in the coastal hills and perhaps farther inland as opposed to in our coastal cities. But up high, yeah, you certainly could see a little fog tomorrow morning. May even see a little drizzle as well as that marine layer is in the process of deepening overnight. During the afternoon tomorrow, um, low clouds retreat back to the coast. The model has us almost fully cleared out by mid-afternoon. And I think maybe it's because of the marine layer depth that it's reacting to that. There also is a weird frontal boundary off to the north. I just don't see us fully clearing out tomorrow. I think we're going to hold on to some low clouds around the coast. So I do have us a little bit warmer, a couple of degrees warmer than today with an increase in sunshine. But I think we are going to hold on to some of those low clouds at times during the day. And of course, they will return and thicken back again tomorrow night. This is my temperature forecast. Tomorrow, we're going to start you off in Santa Cruz County, where you'll find 80s up in the mountains, at least uh, up in the higher elevations, um, and then 70s down closer to the coast and even some 60s on the coast. So Santa Cruz, you only topped out in the upper 60s today. You'll be a little bit warmer tomorrow. Davenport only mid 60s tomorrow. So still a little cool for coastal cities, below normal for this time of year by a couple of degrees. Mid 60s for the east shore of the bay, climbing into the upper 60s to around 70. So we head a little farther inland. Hollister, a little bit warmer tomorrow to 80. Gilroy 88, Morgan Hill 90 tomorrow. Monterey Peninsula, uh, mostly mid 60s tomorrow. And again, you'll have some low clouds. A little sunshine pokes through in the afternoon, but uh, seasonable temperatures in Monterey. And then farther south, 70s closer to the coast, 80s in those mid valleys. And uh, well, we skipped straight from the 80s to the 100s, at least in the Salinas Valley. Uh, I mean, you could be in the 90s in San Lucas and San Arno. So there's some representation for you. Uh, down into the seven day forecast for seven, for coastal areas, I should say. Next couple of days staying somewhat cooler than normal, but we'll be back closer to normal by midweek and then above by Thursday and Friday. Then things will even out again been by this weekend, excuse me. And then again, inland areas also for the next couple of days more seasonable, but you are going to head back up. So um, expect some heat to return inland, but the next couple of days will be pretty comfortable.
All right, thank you very much, Dan.